Hi, here's Peter. So today I'd like to explain to you and show you another functionality and features of my VRS Edge app. Today I want to talk about this part and also this part. So these two I call analytical parts of VRS Edge app. I want to show you what you can see here, what is calculated and how you can benefit from that if you use VRS Edge app. So I will generate first 10 random numbers. I currently didn't select any numbers which I want to play. So I can also just like an example, I can show you Then I can, let's say, say ah, this, I want to play these three numbers, like one street, just like an example. So I generate another few spins, random spins. So we are as edge generating random spins, like online casino the same way. And today I want to explain you these two parts. So a little bit few more spins and we can see what's going on and how it works. So you can see I generated now 80 spins, like random number spins and what is in. So this VR here, it, it's my own VRS ratio. So it's calculated based on my experience and knowledge. It's let's say some kind of secret formula, which I developed uh, during the last 15 years using VRS app first generation and this is a VRS Edge app, it's a second generation. So I still using this this ratio because it's quite strong and beneficial and a lot of knowledge behind it. So in general, you can say if the ratio is, for example, touching three or four, then it's good to consider bet on the number. And it's what is absolutely the great idea. Then you combine several numbers which have a good high VRS ratio and then there is a high probability then these three or four or five numbers depends on you how many numbers can really come soon so and what is what is if it is green you can see for example zero is still uh, white because already 80 spins didn't come and uh, also here it's still something is here mm, zero then 32 is ratio but still white and why because what is green is higher than this average VRS edge. So I'm taking all these VRS edge ratios from all 37 numbers. I create an average, average is 0 0.6. And if the ratio is higher than 0 0.6, then therefore these numbers are green. So you can see which numbers are likely to come based on the average VRS ratio. And also you can see if they are not green, you can see that there are some called hold numbers currently coming very often. So if you take, for example, number 26, you can see here then 26 has a, a ratio zero because currently just appeared. If we take 21, you can see then there is already small value of the ratio because it's just the second last number which was generated. So this is a, how the VRS ratio is calculated and how you can benefit from that. The second column or field is an age means non hit. So how many times the number didn't hit? So you can see zero currently 80 times didn't hit, didn't appear. Therefore it's calculated. If you check again, number 26, you can see then number 26 has again zero because this is the last number 21 has one. If we check 25 number, we can see then this is two. And so this is simply non hit. Also for this non hit, I'm calculating average. So we can see then average non hit for every 37 number here is 32. So this is again, you can think if one number is not coming 32 times, that's maybe a good idea to think about it. I do not recommend to bet just on one number. I recommend to collect, let's say together, group together, two, three, four numbers and then bet on them. That's better if they have, for example, all higher than 32 non hit number. So this is the uh, this is the part uh, first part of analytical part of the VRS Edge app. The second part you can find here, and uh, you can see I currently already providing to you some interesting patterns which I am saying might be in, of interest of you. So, for example, the first pattern is number seven, seventeen, twenty. Some yeah, numbers are let's say ending in the same numbers. So also nine zeros one and so forth. Yes, for me, they look quite good and they are interesting. You can combine any of your 
if you have a wish to combine any number from the 37 numbers you can do that i already explained to you in another instruction video custom numbers part so here you can really combine any of your possible numbers pattern but here in this analytical part i am already predefined these interesting and nice numbers patterns you know then if you watch me live playing live i most of the time use this 0 10 20 30 pattern so let's take an example of this you can see then currently and h is the same meaning so non hit for for these four numbers is 15 times if you check the for example 1 11 21 31 so we can see then the 21 was here therefore one non hit is in the column non hit if you continue you can see what does it mean exp so exp is expectation it's coming from statistics all these four fields coming from statistics so expectation means then based on the average you would expect for example here for this pattern 2 12 22 and 32 it currently non hit is 20 spins and based on the expectation average you know, law of average you can say then you would expect then these four numbers will hit two times in last 20 numbers but we know it's not not the true it's it's a lot of var variables and it can happen then very long time even for example these four numbers it's possible then they will not hit 100 spins huh? if you take three numbers can be then 120 spins they will not hit so these crazy sequences and special let's say variance from averages can happen so don't be surprised but expectation is saying then there normally should be at least two times these four numbers generated in 20 last spins based on non-hit this is just expectation so normally i don't use this field for any let's say condition when to start betting because it's just information for you but what is more int interesting is this sd1 2 and 3 so this is standard deviation if you don't know exactly what standard deviation means you can find explanation on the internet in general it's easy i will explain to you very fast if you see this one three so standard deviation one and we are saying with the 668 percent probability these four numbers should already come at least once and maximum three times this is this is something like negative and positive standard deviation range so currently standard deviation is saying now and therefore it's also green i also am highlighting that in green if at least there is a one for standard deviation then there is the green saying there is a chance and there is a from probability point of view and also touching the gauss curve you probably heard about that so then there is a 68 percent chance then our numbers should already these four numbers should already come at least once if we would see here number one then we are saying then it's a second standard deviation so we are saying then with 95 percent probability currently our numbers should come between zero times up to five times this is the let's say 95 percent probability if here is the one in this column second standard deviation again good idea to think to start betting if here and this this is the third standard deviation even let's say bigger range for us because we can see it's already 99.7 percent probability then our numbers will be generated in this range the, the, you can see the range is always bigger and bigger so don't be surprised about that now i move <laughs> some numbers here don't worry that's just funny and no, no issue so you can see standard deviation you understand and that that's quite cool so the last last column is a max non hit so i'm calculating what is the maximum in the past in all 80 spins for this pattern for example 7 70 27 then this pattern didn't hit so currently the maximum is 25 if you generate more and more random spins you will see the maximum will increase as i said for three numbers can be easily 100 numbers uh, spins didn't appear these three numbers if you take four numbers it's again maximum can be 80 90 times then these four numbers they didn't come and therefore you can find it here maximum non hit pattern so this is the explanation for my analytical part where you can see and one more thing the last one about the analytical part is then why you can see here some colors 
so I'm calculating also the average non-hit for streets. You can see here there are streets, street non-hit and maximum street non-hit. I am calculating for this streets also what is a non-hit and calculating the average street non-hit. And if this let's say if some street has a higher non-hit number than average street non-hit then it's highlighted here you can see here if we check 16 17 18 we go here 16 17 18 it has a 26 non-hit currently and if you compare it to average it's higher than average therefore it's highlighted here so again it gives you an idea maybe makes sense to start betting on this street because non-hit is higher than normal average non-hit for every street so this is the explanation for this part analytic part of my VRS Edge app second generation. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.